So you might notice I'm not wearing my paint-tinted Caravan Times jumper, and the reason for that is I'm on a ferry. I'm going from Dover to Calais, and then going to drive a Bailey Advance all the way from Calais down to the south of Austria into the Alps. Why am I doing this? Well, Bailey is so confident in their Alutec construction and their new heating systems that they think it's possible to take your caravan or motorhome for a weekend skiing. Bailey have sponsored a snow season where they have a professional snowboarder and his blogger girlfriend staying in the new Pegasus 2 for an entire snow season. I'm going to catch up with them, I'm going to get my board on the snow and hopefully have some fun. So I'm finally here in Austria, what a fantastic drive and we've got a whole day ahead of us and I've met up with Simon and Faye who are sponsored by the Bailey Snow Season. Bailey Snow Season is an opportunity for these guys to show us how to live in a caravan in the snow for a full snow season. Simon, what is it you do here? Um, I snowboard uh, competitively, um, so a lot of training um, and also I do a lot of coaching for some younger athletes that are up and coming and getting better, um, hopefully not too good, I don't want them getting too good, better than me, you know, um, and also um, I help maintain a few people's equipment while they're out here as well uh, with my workshop in the awning. And Faye, you're, you're a bit more kind of like me, you're, you're a blogger, aren't you? Yeah, I spend most of my time writing articles. I do a bit of work for an online snowboard magazine and then also my personal blog where I just write reviews and updates on what we're doing out in Austria. I am sponsored for my snowboarding and I spend a lot of time in the snow park trying to train and practice to get better for competitions and filming and things like that. Fantastic. Well, I'm a, a very, very bad snowboarder <laughs> and I'm very old and very out of shape. But uh, if, if I could come out with you guys in a, in a while and you could show me some stuff, that'd be awesome. Yeah, definitely. I'll show course. you a few tricks. <laughs> Perfect. And uh, this is also going to be my very first time in a motorhome in the snow. I've got Bailey Advance just over there. Uh, tips? Um, learn your caravan or motorhome and um, kind of figure out where everything is, what everything does. Um, uh, the more you kind of become in tune with your caravan or motorhome, the easier it is really to kind of um, use it out here when the conditions are a bit more extreme than you'd normally use them. Um, the best thing I can say is uh, figure out your heating system. <laughs> so uh, keep yourself nice and warm. One of the biggest questions we get asked all the time is, um, is it not cold? Well, no, it's not cold. We've got heating inside there, so uh, yeah get to grips with the heating system and you'll be nice and cosy and that's number one really and you're on your way. And behind me here you, you've got quite an impressive setup. Are you going to take me around show me what you've done? Can do, yeah. Show you everything we've got going on in there if you like. Fantastic. Crazy to think that 24 hours ago we were in rainy blighty. Now we're in the beautiful Austrian Alps. What a fantastic day. Meeting up with Simon and Faye and hitting the slopes. Now this really is possible. And what's more inspiring is Simon and Faye's story. You know, they are doing what they love and their caravans providing them the base and the facility and the financial freedom to actually do that. And that's such a promising thing for young people. Everybody should take note of this. I wish I had when I was their age. So now, it's evening time. I'm ready to go to bed. Wonder how the advance is going to hold up. Well, it's held up really well so far. I'm warm, I'm toasty, I've had a beer. Time to get my head down.
So I've just spent my first night ever in the snow in a motorhome and the advance was fantastic. I mean, as you can see, it is pretty cold and pretty snowy here. But one thing that struck me was in the middle of the night, I got up and actually switched off the heating because it was warm enough. It was lovely, toasty, comfortable, practical. All I've got to do now is go snowboarding. So we're on some really hairy roads now. We're up in the mountains, it's snowing, snow on the ground, the advance, copes with it like a dream. Really nice to drive, plenty of power when you need it. Small tip though, we do have snow tyres on this. In some countries it's mandatory, but it's always advisable if you're heading somewhere that could turn out to be snowy. Conditions here change very, very quickly. Don't think you can sort it out when you're here. Get it done before you go. We're heading home. We've had a brilliant time. The Bailey snow season was amazing. Simon and Faye are literally living the dream. I was totally struck on the campsite by the amount of English people there who think it's crazy that people aren't using their caravans or motorhomes to go skiing. And I see why, it is perfect. It's so much more relaxing than a normal skiing holiday. You've got so many more facilities than a normal skiing holiday. And you've also got that ability to chase the snow, go, to where the snow is perfect if it's not in the resort that you are. So should you take your caravan or motor home on a skiing holiday? Absolutely. Don't be intimidated by the cold because there's no cold. Don't be intimidated by the drive because actually it's really easy. Modern caravans and motorhomes are built for this. Don't worry about the ferry crossing. Again, easy, cheap. If you've ever been skiing before and you try skiing in a caravan or motorhome, you will love it.